Hi and welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if you haven't been here before, cheers for stopping by. Right, we are out on another camp, hammock camp this time. Hope I don't fall out of mine, eh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, so, uh, usual setup, uh, hammock wise, we've got the Covercure hammocks, they're both the same. Um, trespass sleeping bag. This time I'm trying out. If I can put the flash on, maybe that'll work. No, not really. Um, this time I'm trying out a different uh, airbed. This is uh, a self inflated mat with a blow up pillow. So we're going to give that a go and see how that works because. My other one got wet um, last time I used it, so <clears throat> got a few bits and pieces, new bits of kit to run through. But we're just by this uh, dodgy shelter at the moment. It should be all right. We've give it a good kick, and it hasn't fallen down, so that should be good. So it's. Dry at the moment, although it has been raining. <clears throat> right, might be able to see it hung up there. I brought uh, a few knives I want to show you, among some other stuff. But in the meantime, we're just getting the fire going. Well, flag is getting the fire going properly. So, yeah. Gonna do some food in a minute. Right, so let's have a look at these uh quick look at these knives. The knives themselves are not that special, but we start I got this little pen knife here. I made the scales for it. And uh yeah, as you can see, it's in five five six variety. So yeah, just a just a pen knife. Like I said, I really can't I can't remember the name of that one. This knife didn't particularly have a name. However, it did have a plastic handle and it was a lot longer and a lot wider. Um, it's years old. It rusted out. The blade did, so I ground it down to that shape because I like the actual knife. And if you look. Let's get it right. Actually made this handle. That's a homemade handle. Designed to fit my hand, obviously. So, good friend of mine, the Reverend, actually made that for me. You thought I was going to say I made it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. Anyway, that's my favourite knife, that is. I say it's not particularly special make or anything but it is my favorite knife I've had it for years and the sheath was also no good on it so knocked that up as well out of a bit of leather there next up we have this I'm not gonna lie it's getting a bit warm by this fire <laughs> this one again the case is a uh, made out of a seat belt, car seat belt. Um, in here we have some sharpener stones. So I keep them in there. Just a uh, temperature and thing. That's basically to stop the sharpeners coming out. But yeah, so made that. There is actually a make on this knife. I can't remember what it is. It's a proper chef's knife, and it was expensive. Let me just see. I don't know if you can make that out because the light's on it, but it's a Richardson. Well, yeah, you probably can't make it out. But, again, homemade handle on it, with a bit of... Um, 
I can't remember what that is. It's something to do with deer, I think. Some brass, just to make it look a bit nicer. So that's my cooking knife. That's what I use. Cut it away because it is really sharp. And then, uh, just use the sax then. That's the axe I use. It's not too big. What's that say on there? I can't read it, man. The size. You might be able to see it on the camera. Well, I can't actually see it. It's all beaten off. So, yeah. Nice small, small axe there. I just thought I'd show you them while we have a sit around the fire. Did somebody mention it wasn't raining? Because now it is. Alright, so. If you haven't seen the tiny stove. To go with the tiny stove, we now have a tiny gas bottle. Which is a... A little 100 gram one. But the plan is, like that should last two days at least, shouldn't it? So the plan is, I'm going to refill this with the with the refills that I bought. Gas refill and adapter. There, if you haven't seen the last video of the Timu products, got adapters there so I can fill up off the other type of gas bottles. Which I don't actually have one on me, I thought I did. But anyway, it's time for coffee. So let's get the coffee on. On the little micro stove setup. Just love this stove, it's an absolute animal, fair play. She does glow a bit. Anyway, we'll have this coffee and see what's happening. Yeah, there's the stove. I tell you what, this I'm really impressed with this. This stove. It cost me like six pounds. It's probably I don't know, but eight dollars. Something like that. I love it. I'm especially with this new 100 can. I can fit both of them in the same pocket. Alright, so, the others are just gone. Get some wood and what have you, so, guess I'm in charge of the fire. We say this shelter's been here for ages, but if you look, it's a bit dodgy on that tree up there. So we don't really trust it, but, like I say, we did give it a good shake and a good kick, and it's not going to come down. So... That's awesome news. Just get uh, this coffee down me. And then I'm going to cook, cook some food. I'll just show you what we're having. Alright, I've already had one lot. So in there we've got some Spam. And some uh, tin potatoes. Which I'm going to chop up into fine... Find uh, what do you call it? Find the, I'm gonna dice it up anyway, dice it up into small pieces, and then I'll be adding a mug shot over the top. If you're not familiar with a mug shot, it's like hot noodles in a chicken and mushroom sauce. Oh, I tell you what, it's absolutely spot on, but we'll see that in a bit when I when I cook it. Um, old Flack over there is going to be cooking when he comes back. I do believe he's got chicken curry and rice. Alright, so, along this ridge uh, line... Full of truckers on the CBs. <laughs> yeah, it should be like Abba, we'll get your rig. Along this ridge line, I've got these little hooks, which I rescued from an old tent I threw out the other day. 
where you clip the inside to the outside. I thought, ah, I'll save a few of them for my, uh, right, here's some junk I normally keep around my neck. It's the Fire Striker, it's a magnesium block, a whistle. Um, little folding yeah, knife. What do you call them? Bottle opener, tin opener, and some corned beef keys on there, just because they're handy. Um, yeah, one of the other guys is just had to pop off, so that's who you could hear on the radio there. Just on his way. He'll be back with us later. In the meantime, let's get some wood on our fire. Okay, uh, another new bit of kit we've got here. Or flax got, I should say, is the Haven Ridge Light running off a power bank there. Now, these are really good um, LED strip lights, yeah. That's what you call it. There was uh, they're just in the bag at the moment in light bulb mode, but obviously, you can pull them out and set them right across, well, across your ridge line. That's what they're for, or whatever. couple of different functions they do as well but uh, yeah that's really bright it's just looking real bright on this camera they do a bit though yeah so you just hang them where you want them lights up oh that is really good actually Yeah, that's really bright in there. We're gonna get back under because it's raining. But uh, yeah, they do a different, few different uh, things with a tap. Right, that's hot. That's that was, was that on low? That's like press, pressing all the plug in. Ah, right, yeah, that's cool, isn't it? And then back up, back down. And back up. Oh, that's awesome. We did quickly test them the other the other week. Um, I can't remember how long they was on for ages, wasn't it? Before it dropped the light on the power bank. Yeah, it was about hour and a half, two hours it dropped the light. Yeah, about hour and a half, two hours on that power bank. 20,000 that power bank, is there? I'm sure. That's a could read it. Well, <laughs> let's put the camera on it then. I can't quite make it out, but there's some info on the power bank anyway, guys. Well, put it on the screen when I play this footage back. But uh, yeah, but it's quite a good light. And it's made of um, waterproof, like silicon stuff as well, so you don't have to worry about it getting wet. Obviously, I wouldn't recommend putting your power bank in the water, but. They look good to me. Yeah, that's right. I recommend them myself, I ain't even mine. That's <laughs> <laughs> see what it's like when it gets really dark. Yeah, I bet I'll be really bright then. We'll have to turn it down, I reckon. Down, uh... Yeah, that's awesome. Like I say, it comes in, uh, comes in this bag as well, and you can have it, as you've seen, in... Uh... Like a lantern. Yeah, lantern. Light bulb mode, there they call it. <laughs> lantern, he calls it. Right, anyway, so there we go. Haven Ridge Light. Pretty good up to now. The fires are going an absolute gem. Even these logs that were soaked right through are drying out and catching. It's really hot there. What are you making? I'm making some kusk as well. I'm making some loops. I can make kusks out of them. Kusks, ah. kusks, kusks, whatever. <laughs> and and the answer is on free like. And then we just uh, just gonna tie some loops in here. It's no more over on not, we'll do it. There we go. Salt there. Uh -huh. 
I'll see if I can do that. Yeah. I'll see if I can get out of the anchor now. Or however you need, or maybe however many you need. Make the other things off. Yeah. Actually, I want to send the tension, it won't move anyway. Yeah, nice simple little thing, but uh, that's how we've set the tarps up on the ridge lines. Thank you so much, Liz. Yeah, always handy, Ant. Look at that ridge light. That's mad. Alright, so I've decided I'm still way too full to even think about cooking that extra bit of meal. So we're just going to sit by here in front of the fire. you got the ridge light lighting up the whole camp. Um, yeah, I think that'll probably be it until the morning now. Can't really see it being a lot else to film, but the... As always, if there is, I'll put it in. Whoa, spooky man. Smoky fire. Smoky fire. Um, yeah, well, I'll catch you later with an update just before we go to bed anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, just a quick update. It's like, I don't know, about 11pm, something like that. Getting some night night shots with my uh, S23 Ultra. So I'll add them in. See what we can get with that. <coughs> anyway. Just found this in my bag. Yeah. Tastes like apple cider, but <laughs> it really does. Anyway, cheers, everyone. Cheers. Alright, so we've been messing about making some whale art. That's whale art, that is. Bottle art, that is. Whale art. That's our bottles. Doesn't look like a whale, doesn't it? See it? Mm, I can see it. Anyway, yeah, we're just going to let this fire. Let this fire die down a bit and uh, have another cup of coffee in it, the sack, probably, guys. So, uh,. We'll catch you in the morning while I'll be cooking up my new fantastic breakfast. Alright guys, it's about half four in the morning. I just had to get out for a uh, cold nature there. And... Yeah, I hit my cap size metal. Yeah. I did actually go flying upside down in the hammock. But as you can I don't know if you can see there, it's getting light. So, yeah, I'm off back to sleep. I'll catch you in the morning. I wanted to go up earlier. And I said that I don't know what I said now, but anyway, yeah, it's like weird. I stacked the fire, the fire had gone out. I just put some logs in the middle of it.
can hear all the morning sounds now this. So you can hear all the morning sounds now this. People going to work and animals kicking off and people snoring. <laughs> you had a nice snored last night, didn't you? For it, me. Alright, that's it. I am done. I'm done with this thing. See that? Look at the shape of that. It's just way too slippery. It's way too slippery. Oh, I'm sleeping with God. I tell you what, I'm absolutely boggling again. But... Give up with that bed. Mattress, whatever you want to call it. It's junk. That's right, giving up with that. It's literally 6 a.m. Say, when I got up early, I've had some wood over the fire that had gone out, and that's been going for a while. So I've put some fresh on that now in a minute. A cup of coffee, I said, I'm up, I'm awake. That there. Uh, that ain't my thing. Pfft, not bringing that again, it's junk. I'll stick to the uh, one I normally bring. <sighs> Alright, let's get that fire going, lady. Okay, that's stoked up. I'm flat, you're still sleeping. You can get some coffee on. Just have a chill out by her for a bit. Then we'll get the food done. This shelter thing is still up. So that's good that didn't come down on us. That. Yeah, that wood's a little bit damp, to be fair. It'll dry out now. Right, guys, I'm gonna show you something, right? I very, really, really, really see. Check that out. What is that light that's coming from up there? What's that about? It's like... That's weird, isn't it? Oh, flat way, I was trying to tell me how's the sun coming up. <laughs> I just automatically assumed the sun was always up, like. <sighs> it's early, isn't it? It is a bit early, like, I'm in bed by now. About early 7 o'clock yet, no, it's quite low. So, oh well, no coffee. Oh, right, so we kind of cheated a bit. With breakfast, we've got ooh, ha, ha, these cinnamon porridge. So, get that down to cinema. Update on this gas. I've made, I don't know how many coffees with it. I made food and everything. Bought the cattle like loads of times. Yeah, there's a good bit still left in there. So I'll keep using it until it's empty and then I'll just refill it off the other ones, like I said. But yeah, that will last a weekend, no problem. No problem there. Whew. All right, so it's uh, 12 o'clock dinner time. So we haven't done much. It's been potching around with the fire and just generally chilling out. So I'm gonna get this cooked and I'm using the using the pocket rocket on there because it's got bigger feet than this one as you can as you can see so we're gonna get that going on the go uh flack is over there cooking 
curry and rice. So, right, let's have a look at that then. Alright, so that's cooking. We're gonna get all that chopped up. If you go into your local McDonald's, always uh, stock up on salt and pepper. And in that, then, we're gonna put this. creamy cheese pasta we're just gonna make that up spread it around the top it's gonna be good all right so let's get in there and chopping it up there before anybody has a go at me for using a knife in my pan don't worry about it this pan was put in the dishwasher and it's now trashed so I gotta get a new one anyway so not the worry for the day Almost time to put the uh, mug shot in. Oh, getting angry now. I know it looks hanging, but trust me, I'll give that a minute or two, and then I'll add, I'll add that to it with some pepper and salt for the mess in back on the cooker. It's gonna be good. Right, that little tiny gas canister finally run out. So the one I'm going to refill it off, I've had to use the small, uh, small stove there with the adapter. Getting in now. All right, check it out. Mm. Don't judge your book by its cover. That is really nice, even though it doesn't probably look that advertising gonna get this down and catch you in a mall all right so this is finally empty I'd say I bought the kettle I call it seven times it was probably more than that the amount of coffees and that and cooked two proper meals with it as well so for a weekend yeah I think that'll last I am, however, going to be filling it up with this. I've got this adapter here. And that simply goes in there if you haven't seen these before. And then that goes in there to fill it up. So I'll do that. As you can hear, whoops, it's empty now. Right, let's get it filled. All right. One full gas canister. Awesome. Oh, kettle's on for more coffee. But I'm using the adapter on the other one because I say this one is now full. That's going back in the bag ready for the, uh, ready for the next one. Everything's all washed up. So uh, we got a small wood going on the fire over there. Just bad uh, generally chilling out now. Alright, oh, so there's not much more to report on at the moment. Um we're just cleaning up. Gonna pack up the camp now and uh leave it exactly as we found it, leave no trace and all that. We'll get rid of everything there. We'll leave the uh, firewood, obviously. But um, yeah, we didn't. He didn't get to test out his uh, his new DD top. Next time. So next time, that means another trip. We'll be checking that out as well. But um, yeah, I hope we did enjoy this video, guys. If you did, all the good stuff down below. Like, comment, subscribe, and there'll be more videos to come. So, uh, cheers for now. Thanks for watching, and stay safe out there. <sighs> right, let's get all this packed away then.